Mm. I know you worked on a, a paper about this called the, the Silurian Hypothesis, which is a, a great reference, by the way. And for anyone listening, if you know, you know. Um, and, it, and it was where the, it would be possible to detect an industrial civilization in the geological record. So what did you find through this paper? Could you talk our audience through this? I got a job at this NASA facility in uptown New York, right? And um, I was just a scientific programmer. And the thing that they, we were, you know, I asked, this is 1986. I asked them about, like, what are we doing here? Like, what, what you know, and the, the woman sat me down and said, well, possible that the climate is changing because of human activity. And uh, we're interested in if that's true or not. The research I was starting to do, I was wondering, like, maybe climate change is a, um, is kind of a natural step that any technological civilization reaches, right? Because what's happening with climate change is just that we're, it's about human beings being so freaking successful, right? We have harvest, we harvest so much energy from the planet and use it to build civilization that is having a feedback. So I was asking whether or not maybe every civilization hits this point. So I actually, so this was obviously kind of a, you know, out there idea. And I went to see Gavin Schmidt, who's the head of the, of the actually funny, the research institute that I worked in in 1986, he now runs it. Uh, he's a great climate scientist. And I went in because I wanted to talk to him about this. And I said, look, I got this crazy idea that maybe aliens trigger climate change. Um, and I said, I know it's crazy, you know, and of course, there's never been any other civilization on Earth. So I've got to, you know, and he said, well, how do you know that? And I was like, my jaw dropped, you know, because I thought I was going in there with the craziest freaking idea anybody had ever heard, you know, aliens triggering climate change. And he just totally outdid me crazy like how do you know there's never been another civilization on earth and he wasn't saying that there was he was asking and this is what's so beautiful about science he was asking a question that nobody had ever asked before yeah. how would you know if there was another technological civilization on earth say 500 million years ago because what happens is the earth you know the surface of the earth is constantly being reshaped by plate tectonics so there literally is no ground left over, you know, or just small amounts of actual earth, you know, uh, continental um, uh, exposed continents that was around 500 million years ago. So if you had a vibrant technological civilization that, say, lasted 10,000 years, which would be, you know, we've only been around like 200 years as a technological civilization, how would you know? Where would you look for clues? So um, he called this, so what we did is we did a paper and it was mostly him doing the earth science to ask the question, how would you know? What, what markers would be left that you could detect after um, uh, 500 or, you know, after millions of years? Now, people always go, well, fossils. Of course, there's going to be fossils. That's really debatable. Again, because the earth shifts, you know, there wouldn't be, and well, it's not so much that, it's more that um, the fossil record is very incomplete, right? People think like, oh, every, there's fossils of everything. The, you know, the, the fossils we have of light, ancient life on earth constitutes a tiny fraction of all of the um, species that were around then. So most things, the you know, majority of things do not get fossilized. So if you had a 10,000 year long civilization, which is, you know, a blink of the eye ge geologically, you probably wouldn't get fossils. Now, that's, I think that's still an open research question. Uh, you know, people need to look at. But let's assume that it's true that, like, that's just too short for, you know, to leave any imprints. So then you'd have to look at things like um, the strata, the rock strata, and look for clues, you know, like isotopic clues, like the, the composition of those strata. Can you see, like, oh, wow, there's, like, weird levels of, you know, of, of, uh, you know, certain kinds of chemicals that you wouldn't expect. So he called this whole idea, the Silurian hypothesis, because he's a doctor who fan. And, uh, there's the Silurians are the lizard people in, uh, the, you know, which are, they're an ancient species, uh, uh you know, from their prehistoric earth. So that was the idea that we looked at. It's funny because it made, got a huge amount of press. And of course we weren't saying there was a technological civilization. We were just saying, how would you know? Um, and so, yeah, that was really super fun. But, it, you know, the re the, what, it became very important for techno signatures because it just also forced you to ask, what is the, the trajectory of a technological civilization on a planet? 